Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna cover one casting tip that will help you get more distance and better accuracy, all in one. And uh, it's what I see a lot of people not doing, and it's, uh, it's really just an easy tip, and it really just takes physics into account. So uh, really the one tip is to just use, use your hands, both hands, as a, as a lever, and let the rod do the work. So it, a lot of people, the thing to do wrong is what I see a lot of people doing is they take their hands way back, all, and the rod's going all the way over, and then they, then they start their cast from max. So you're, you're taking that rod all the way around, and, and that way, when you do that, you don't have quite as much power because the, the rod doesn't get fully loaded, and also you don't have a, as, as quite as much accuracy because you're doing that full span, and if, you're, if you take your finger off just, just one millisecond sooner or later, that's gonna make a very big difference on, on the arc of your cast. So, so the better way to cast, this is the way that you can get the max distance with the least amount of effort so you can just cast all day long without getting tired, is to use, the, just understand that the rod is a lever and use your hands in tandem to just to take advantage uh, of how much power the rod can generate. Because what, what the best way to do it is to, of course, open up the bale first. Uh, as far as your hands, you place one hand on the butt, the other hand just right above the, uh, the reel so you can hold the line and with your back hand pull down while at the same time moving up with your, with your front hand. That's how you load the rod. So as far as loading the rod, do that. Just, just quick, quick movement and I get it, I take it only to about here as far as I just do it a little bit more than 90 degrees up. I do not ever go back here. You just start losing control and you could hook somebody behind you. So again, uh, load the rod up real quick and then as far as delivering it, almost like throwing it like a dart where you get a, you get a ton of distance and maximum accuracy because you're just gonna you're just basically pushing it straight in that direction is do the opposite you once once it's loaded you're going to pull back with the back hand and then forward with the front hand so in total i'm hardly in total i hardly moved at all you can see you didn't see i i, I didn't shake the boat all it was is the rod got kicked back loaded pause for a second wait till it load and then shoot it out all right so we're going to do it again now i'm going to try to do this one slow-mo with the uh in the editing tool so again, uh, we're just going to take it up halfway, and we're going to take it up fast, pause, let it load, and as soon as you feel the rod fully loaded, then just shoot it out like a dart. So here goes. And then for a little bit more distance, you can uh, just hold the rod out like that, and that just gives, lets it fly a little bit more. When you do, if you do this and have a, a casting contest with a friend, and you do that simple technique, load the rod, shoot it out, and then point, you'll most likely uh, cast a, a significant amount further than them. And that's... Uh, All right, so that's, uh, that's the, the really casting tip that made a significant difference in, in my results as far as just being able to cast all day and not get tired while also getting a ton of distance and also a lot of accuracy. As far as loading the rod, if you're wondering how long, how long to pause, it really depends on your rod because every rod is different, has different flex. I like to have a medium heavy to medium rod, and so mine's a little bit quicker. If you're using a uh, really soft tip rod, then you'll, you'll have to let it pause a little bit longer for it to just arc a little bit more and then, then get ready to launch it. And uh, for live bait fishing, this, is, uh, this requires a lot of momentum, a uh, big momentum shift. And if you're doing that with live bait, and many times you could possibly cast the bait off. So be careful uh, with live bait. With artificial lures, it is by far the best way to cast, especially when you're doing really light, soft plastic lures up in shallow water. There's no better way to really sling one out there with a ton of distance. If you have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. More importantly, subscribe to our website at saltstrong.com. We have a weekly newsletter that just has a ton of just great fishing tips, and we'll customize it based on the type of fishing you prefer. Thanks again. See you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today